Hello, and welcome to Universal Explorer. Today, we're going to take you on a journey to explore the ancient city of Sigiriya, also known as Lion Rock, located in the heart of Sri Lanka. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is one of the most intriguing places in the world. And we can't wait to show you what makes it so special. Sigiriya was built in the 5th century AD by King Kasyapa, who wanted to build a fortress city on top of a massive rock plateau as a defensive structure against his brother, who he had overthrown to take the throne. The climb to the top of the rock is steep, but the view from the top is breathtaking. As you begin your journey to the top, the first thing you'll see is the entrance to the palace complex, guarded by the massive lion statue, of which only the paws remain. The climb up the rock is challenging. But there are several rest stops along the way that provide you with an opportunity to catch your breath and admire the views. As you continue to climb, you'll come across several caves that were once inhabited by Buddhist monks. These caves are adorned with ancient paintings, sculptures, and inscriptions, giving you a glimpse into the lives of the monks who lived there centuries ago. One of the most fascinating sights on the climb is the frescoes that are painted on the western face of the rock. The frescoes depict beautiful women dressed in colorful clothing and adorned with jewelry. The paintings are believed to be the work of the king's personal artists and are an example of the ancient Sri Lankan art form. As you reach the halfway point of the climb, you'll come across the mirror wall, a polished stone wall that was once used to reflect the beauty of the frescoes. The wall has been etched with ancient graffiti and inscriptions, giving you a glimpse into the lives of the people who lived there over a thousand years ago. At the top of the rock, you'll find the ruins of the royal palace complex. The palace was once home to the king and his family and was built to resemble a giant lion, with the entrance to the palace being through the lion's mouth. Unfortunately, only a few ruins remain. But the intricate water gardens, which were used to supply water to the palace, are still intact. The water gardens are a true marvel of ancient engineering. The architects designed the palace in such a way that it remained cool during the hot summer months. With elaborate drainage systems and reservoirs to collect rainwater. The gardens also contain several pools and fountains, which are still functioning today. Sigiriya's history is as fascinating as the rock itself. After King Kasyapa's death, the city was abandoned and fell into disrepair until it was rediscovered in the 19th century. Since then, it has become one of Sri Lanka's most popular tourist attractions and a fascinating insight into ancient Sri Lankan history. So, there you have it, folks. Our journey to the ancient city of Sigiriya. This amazing UNESCO World Heritage Site is truly a wonder to behold, with its steep climb, fascinating frescoes, and intricate water gardens. It is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Sri Lanka. And we hope you get to experience it for yourself someday. Thank you for joining us on Universal Explorer, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more adventures around the world.